Hi guys, so today we'll have a look at the boot time of my computer and then we'll do a walkthrough of the hardware that's inside. So firstly my case is the Cooler Master Cosmos 2 and inside are dual Xeons. Alright, so turning the computer on now. Okay, so computer is turned on and we'll see how long it takes. So I'll just put the camera down here and then hopefully everything is in focus. Okay, so it usually takes about 30 seconds after I turn I power, it up, power it on for the beep to occur. And then it takes uh, like another minute before the computer fully loads. Okay, so there was the beep. And now it's loading. Okay, so that's the Marvel controller for for my RAID 10. And more loading. Okay, so Windows 7 is starting now. So, my boot up drive is actually a SSD. It's the 240 gig OCZ Vertex 3 Max. IOPS, so it's not a slow SSD or anything like that. But it still takes a while. It might be because of the number of drives I have. Alright, and now it's done. Okay, so let's just have a look through. So obviously I have uh, multiple monitors. So I started off with my 17 inch that you can see over here. And uh, I'm using the system, uh, I think it's the system resource monitor or system monitor 2. Yeah, system monitor 2. So I can monitor my CPU, CPU usage. So I have 32 threads and uh, the, I cannot find a single Windows 7 gadget that can display all 32 threads. So I'm using two instances of system monitor 2. And uh, each instance, it, it lets me choose which CPU I want to display. I cannot display both simultaneously, but uh, yeah, so for the first one I display the first CPU and the second one I display the other CPU, so I can see all 32 threads. All the other gadgets like the uh, all CPU monitor, they only support up to 24 threads, so it doesn't work in my case. So that's the monitor I started off with, and then I uh, later on I upgraded to the 22 inch, which is, you can see over here, and then finally, much later, I got the 27 inch. So all three monitors uh, over here. So obviously this is not for uh, surround gaming, but for what I do, which is scientific computing, I can still take advantage of the multiple monitors since I can see a lot of my code and program on all of the different monitors. So it's good for doing work. Okay, so let's have a look at my drives. Okay, so opening my computer, and as you can see, I have multiple drives. Uh, maybe move this down a bit. Okay, so I have uh, my C drive is my primary boot drive, which is the SSD, 240 gig, uh, Vertex 3 Max IOPS. And then my D drive is my RAID 10, which consists of four uh, 7200 RPM drives. 2 terabytes each. So that's in RAID 10, so I get equivalent of 4 terabytes. So that's for, for my important stuff. And then I have uh, 4 more 2 terabyte drives. And then finally my last one, my J drive, is, uh, is an old drive from my old computer, which is only 750 gigs, which I just use for virtual machine. And I have a Blu-ray as well. Yeah. Okay, so let's have a look at OC, uh, CPU Z. Yeah, what, this computer is like a monster. Once it is running, then everything is quite fast. It's just the booting up is quite slow. Like, I've, I think most computers can boot in like 30 seconds. This one takes like 90 seconds, so it's like three times slower than a typical computer. Okay, so as you can see, I have dual Xeon, uh, Xeon E5-2690, so 
it can, this CPU came out in like March 2012, so it's a relatively new computer that I built. Um, yeah, so the base clock is 2.9 gigahertz, and uh, it will turbo up to 3.3 gigahertz when all cores are active, and for single core applications, it can turbo up to 3.8 gigahertz. But usually when I'm looking at CPUs that I know I hardly ever see 3.8 gigahertz even if I'm using one uh, when I'm doing something that is only single threaded usually it only goes up to like 3.6 so I'm, I don't know what's up with that okay so there are there's 20 megabytes of level 3 free cache and you know all of that you can yeah the motherboard is the Asus Z9PE-D8WS so WS stands for workstation and the Z9PE-D8 is the model number I guess so yeah memory I have 32 gigs of RAM it's uh, 1600 megahertz CL8 rated um, Corsair Vengeance RAM and I have 8 sticks of 4 gigabytes so, quad channel for each of my CPUs. Yeah. Uh, graphics card, I have a GTX 680 gigabyte version, and I also have a, for my secondary card, I have a GTX 470. So, that was part of my old computer, which I'm using in my current computer. And yeah, so with all of this hardware, I'm sad to say that I still not I still do not get max score on Windows Experience Index. So I'll show you my score now. It's very sad to say that my score is only 7.8. And that's thanks to the four and a half thousand dollar CPUs. Or for two, two CPUs. So CPU score 7.8 only. Memory, so that's uh it scores 7.9 and that's with 32 gigs of 1600 megahertz CL8 Corsair Vengeance RAM. The graphics is the GTX 680 and the hard drive or the primary hard disk is the 240 gig OCZ Vertex 3 Max IOPS version. Alright, thanks for watching guys.